Wendy just done got her ass done and her boobs done, and all of a sudden she's coming for people. I'm not here for this. But... <laughs> my channel so we are about to watch episode two of season six of the real housewives of potomac i got my snack i'm ready to go <laughs> i'm here for the drama i'm so mad when you got a boob job and an ass job like that's some insecure stuff <laughs> hate me if you want but that's insecure so i needs to get over that chip on her so shoulder <laughs> because Karen didn't lie, okay? The streets are talking. <laughs> I'm here for Karen. Yeah, but 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 why are you mad though? <laughs> Ray's penis has nothing to do with Karen. <laughs> oh my god, Karen. It's Sing Sing a prison? <laughs> Sing Sing's a prison. <laughs> She's a whole liar. <laughs> what? What the hell's happening here? Wait, what? <laughs> okay, Mia. We gonna need you to step aside. Like, step all the way aside, Mia. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about Giselle's heart? You don't know Giselle? <laughs> it's true. She did She did started feeling some type of way from that. Shut up, Robin. Yes, it is. Shut up, Robin. It's a gang up. You always want to defend Giselle like Giselle ain't a grown woman. The hell? See, I don't like, I don't like this quick shit. I don't. People do it in everyday life, like they don't have individuality. Like, hello? God. <laughs> Karen! When's your wedding? That's right. No, right. Get get all up in that ass. It's not. That's that's right, that's what I'm saying. Listen, the show just started. <laughs> I don't think Bobby wants to get married. But like, damn. <laughs> Why is she trying to like, you know, I got nothing for Wendy. I got nothing for Dr. Wendy. Nothing for Wendy. Oh, honey. That she really is. She's all the way insecure. Maybe Eddie is cheating, allegedly. <laughs> that was a weird ass party. <laughs> like, I cannot. Okay. I'm not gonna. I like Mia. But Mia kind of look old. She looks a little. She was just talking about her husband's age difference. Is she having a tantrum because they don't have sprinkles? <laughs> to be young, to be a baby again. Oh my god. That episode of Family Reunion that Candace was on, hilarious. <laughs> I actually like Chris. I feel like Chris cancels Candace's wild attitude and all that stuff out. I like See, they last because I'm over Karen trying to force Ray to be romantic. <laughs> Thank you, I'm done with it. I'm done with them. It's true. I agree with Karen. Giselle, yeah, she, right? I feel like Giselle, like, she, Jamal was a mess. Sherman was a mess. There was somebody else in between that. Remember she used to like her friend Hal or something? I don't remember. But she's only to get together, man. I like um the Nigerian dinner. I like it. Not too fond of her boobs, but 
I like the Nigerian dinner. His brother is looking real kind of young. Like, how old is he? <laughs> he looks real young. Like, I feel like Wendy's like in her 30s. Her brother looks like he's not even 20. Did y'all see Eddie's face when she said she has a new um, business venture? Uh, Eddie doesn't want to have anything to do with this by the looks of him. Okay, can we get a shout out for her mom asking for a boot job and they have paid for it? That's not a couple, Wendy. That's a whole lot. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like sometimes Karen is genuine and then sometimes she's not. Like, you never know what this lady Otter's got so big. Like, so big. Don't worry, I failed twice too. And that's the written. <laughs> oh, oh my God! Is Giselle really? Are we? Are we gonna talk about how her daughters are just reading her for self? <laughs> oh my God! What? But then when Karen says it, she gets on Karen. Her with their daddy. The girls are aware. Me and their dad. They're like my. On pause. Get rid of it. Listen, Ray is a big old flirt, okay? <laughs> He's a big old flirt. I like how Mia, Mia's husband, look, but he doesn't look old. The third wife. <laughs> Mia, Mia is shady as hell. After defending her, she's gonna say, but if this is a couple's event. Wendy, she kind of looks like she's uh, on the defense right now. Like, is something going on that we don't just like to say, okay? They're not hugging each other. They're fist bumping each other only because, you know, of COVID and all that stuff. But all them itches got on shoes that they wore outside in the house. How? <laughs> you might as well hug the person. You might as well. And Wait, what? Okay, Wendy just done got her ass done and her boobs done, and all of a sudden she's coming for people. I'm not here for this. <laughs> you need to get a refund. Her booty looks like a big old diaper. <laughs> I'm not body shaming. I just know why she got a, a, her body done. Making Listen, Mia needs to, to, to the, the TMI, and she just needs to like bring it in. <laughs> All I'm saying, Candace, that's all I'm saying. Yeah, she really is flip flopping. Flippity flopping. I feel like Wendy just needs to let it go. Like Wendy, just let it go. Oh, me is just being fake right now. Just fake. Oh, shade. Okay, so what we're not gonna do is treat people like their children, Wendy, but I'm here for it. <laughs> Does she not seem a little green? A bracelet? It's gonna be all up in it. <laughs> I like Mia, and they thought they thought Monique was a problem. Okay, <laughs> and let me say, I'm just say this right now. I'm gonna just say this right now. If they have a physical altercation, then they need to just apologize to Monique and Chris because they made it seem like they were bringing down the black women and all these women on TV fighting and black women and blah 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 blah. blah. And they on the on my TV acting a whole fool right now. I'm done. <laughs> I don't think it was rude. Wendy, I feel like you were like coming at her, but she was also coming back at you. So y'all was giving the same energy. So if she's rude, you're rude. Ooh. Wendy? Wendy? Child, this newlywed game? Listen, Ray is killing Katie? <laughs> of course it's lies. Of course. I think she is insecure, okay, honestly. Baby. <laughs> well, I don't know what's going on with Wendy, but I'm here for it because I want to see what happens. Hopefully it's really not about her and Eddie, but the way how she was trying to control the game, talking about not applicable, none, whatever. No, the man probably finds your friends attractive. Okay. But anyways, I just watched episode number two. This is going to be short and sweet. It was a fun episode for me. Uh, lots of shade. 
lots of drama. <laughs> I am very interesting. Interested. I'm interested in seeing what happens between Mia and and um what's her name and Wendy. Um Giselle and Karen and Candace and Karen. As of right now, Robin, why is she here? And as she's pregnant, so as she don't have no real drama going on. Um, so that for me is where it's at. Now, do I think Wendy's insecure? I do think so because why else would you get your body done? Don't come for me, but this is just my personal opinion, right? That's number one. And number two, she got her body done and now she got this little extra boost of like self-esteem and confidence and all that stuff. And now she just, she just, she being mean. <laughs> She really is being mean, but I, I can't get mad at her for calling Mia out on her stuff because Mia, one minute she was defending Giselle and another minute she was throwing shade at Giselle. Like, I don't understand that. Like, you know, so I got to watch Mia. I, I, I like her so far to an extent, but like, if she's going to be flip flopping, we don't need another Giselle right now. We really don't. Okay. So I think that is it. Next week. Robin has her issues about being motivated and depressed and stuff like that. And I feel like her and Juan are going to clash. I really do think that they should just break up and just stop pretending that they want to be married. Because it's not going to work. You've been married years before. You divorced. You still live together. And you got engaged last year or the year before. And you're still not married? Go to the damn courthouse. Okay. I want to see what's going on with Candace and Chris. Because he's managing her. And she has a lot of stuff on her plate. And she can be a little snappy. Um, so I'm I'm here to see how they navigate that really and truly. Outside of that, that is it. <laughs> I had fun watching it. You've seen how I felt throughout the entire episode. These are my opinions. You may not agree with all of them, any of them. But they're still mine, okay? So that's it. Like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you back here for another one. Bye.